All right, well, let's just jump in here and uh, dig into my, my first all-time, and, and all-time guitar hero, which is Eddie Van Halen, which may seem um, maybe to some who know me like, oh, he's kind of a blues guy or a blues rock guy or whatever. Um, you know, growing up uh, in the 1970s and being a kid in the 1970s, uh, God's honest truth. The first time I ever heard an electric guitar was Van Halen. I never, uh, no one in my, in my family played guitar. We didn't own a guitar. Uh, my father listened to big band music. They were, my parents were a lot older than me. My older siblings uh, were all older than me. And I was at a friend's house up the street. You know, it was like 1978, uh, like the summer of 78, that's what I remember. And I remember going upstairs like to, to use the, uh, the services. And when I came out, I, I, what I was hearing was Eruption by Van Halen. So this, this friend of mine, this kid's older brother, uh, his name's Walter, uh, he, he had the new Van Halen record. He was a few years older than us, like 12 or 13. And uh, he was playing the record and he was out of the room and I... I just heard, you know what I heard. I mean, I can't do it very good, but I heard that. And, and I, I never heard that. I never heard anything like that. I never heard any guitar whatsoever. So I just wandered into the room and stared at the record player. And, uh, and then, you know, the kid's older brother comes in and like shoves me and wants to know what I'm doing in his room. And uh, I was mesmerized. Like I, I just said, what, what is that? And he goes, it's Van Halen. And I said, but, but what is that? And he said, that's a guitar. And I was like, that's a guitar? It sounded like, it sounded like Star Wars, which had just come out like either earlier that year or the year before. Like it sounded like space, like Star Wars. Like it was crazy the impact like it was it was that moment in my life where I was this little kid and this was oh, I was just running around and then this thing happened and then that's it like everything changed forever and it's never I mean I've had other moments like that but not not like that um, I was enthralled I ran home I told my, my mom I was like okay I need a guitar and I need a record player because we only had a record player that was like on a big console. It was my dad's and uh, he wouldn't really let me play. <laughs> I couldn't play records on it. So I knew like, so I, if I want to listen to that, I'll probably need my own record player. So we didn't have much money uh, in those days, but my birthday was around the corner. And for my birthday, I got a little, I'm really telling you everything here. I got a little Snoopy record player and I got Van Halen, the album. And I started listening to it. And then Christmas came, and I got a, uh, a, a guitar, harmony guitar and amp from the Sears catalog. And no one knew how to play it. And I would put the record on, and I'd pick the guitar up and, and go, and then wondered why it does not sound like that record. Because I was a dumb little kid. <laughs> what I remember is my sister did this. She went, and that was it. So uh, Eddie Van Halen is by far my number one guitar hero for the main reason that I didn't even know what a guitar was. I wouldn't be holding a guitar. I wouldn't be playing guitar. I wouldn't be, I, I don't know that any of that would have happened if it hadn't happened the way I did. Um, so I went for years with no guitar lessons. I had no idea what I was doing. I was playing some kind of a, open chord and ran my finger up and down the neck to the Van Halen records. Um, but what it did was I got that sound in my head that that sound is ingrained in my head that it's just there. It's all this like pentatonic rock and roll bluesy goodness 
You know, and, and what's ironic to me is people, maybe now more, but back then people would think that he wasn't bluesy or it was different, but his, his main guitar hero is Eric Clapton. You know, his, his main hero is Eric Clapton. So my main hero is Eddie Van Halen. And people will tell me, well, well I don't hear that in your playing. And I say, well, sure, you know, one, I can't play like Eddie Van Halen. And two, I, I've evolved and grown and, and found, you know, it just, it opened the door for me to find a lot of different music. Uh, but it's still there. It's there. It's there all the time. I hear it in my play. One, once I started to actually learn the guitar, uh, it taught me pentatonic. You know, he would always do those. That fast picking, just like one, two strings, like up the neck, and it kind of crescendos, makes this big ta-da. And um, so I, I, you know, immediately once I started learning guitar, that was just there. It's still there. It, it, even if I don't go about it the same way, I'm... That's there. It's in my playing. It's this very musical kind of rise to the ta-da moment. And uh, it has served me extremely well because uh, that's what people are looking for when you're on stage playing. Uh, the audience needs to know when it's, that's the moment. So they can go, oh, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Just like watching an orchestra perform. It's the da da and he does that like an orchestra in his guitar playing. So, you know, when I think about how it's literally like the technically are affecting me is one, his reckless abandon. I didn't know that when I was a kid, but it's ingrained in me. It's all or nothing. He's just going for it. He's just playing. And it's just what some of the some of it is so wacky. You know, and I enjoy the the humor and the reckless abandon in the playing. And, and I've tried to keep that in my playing. I, I'm not very good at maybe writing things out. I kind of go shoot from the hip and, you know, try to try to make it work. Uh, another thing is um, whether other people like it or not, I don't really care. He seemed to be able to find a way to get too many notes in in the best way possible <laughs> i love it i've you know he would do these uh okay i don't necessarily do that but i have this uh where i i, I mean i play that in in plenty of my songs when i overplay and noodle that all of that kind of it's it's um, based around like Van Halen and you know he was a he wanted to be a drummer first so he's very percussive guitar player everything is very rhythmic he's an amazing rhythm guitar player and um, so he does all these uh, all these like kind of percussive things like now I can hear they sound like drum fills and they, he hits a crash cymbal. And so um, I just incorporated that, that percussiveness, that rhythmic lead, you know, hammer on, pull off. I have no, I, I don't think I could write that out for you. I don't know what that is. But when I'm playing a... That's where it will come in. And of course, that pinch harmonic, look, I'm going to always do it. Well, I don't care if the, the uh, blues purists like it or not. I can't help it. It is, it is the crash symbol at the end of the fill that... Hey, as soon as I could learn to play the guitar well enough, I wanted to make sure that I could find some of those sounds that he did on the guitar. And um, he was so innovative and, and so captivating, uh, very unique. It's just a part of my guitar playing that uh, 
There might have even been a time when I thought, oh, maybe I shouldn't play like that. You know, I started to become professional and learn uh, blues in different styles. And, and I maybe went through this phase where I thought, oh, you know, I should just kind of stick to it and not do that. And now uh, I'm getting older and, and I don't care. I'm going to play just like that kid. Because when I think of guitar being fun, the most fun in my life, I think of Van Halen. And, and God bless him that he just passed away. It, uh, it just breaks my heart because he was, he was the dream for me. You know, he's the, the, the reason, this kid that just, just picked up a guitar and changed the world, you know. So I guess when I'm thinking of things I, I've incorporated that I would have to give him credit for, of course, is the pinch harmonic. The... You know, I mean... Uh, that's definitely been included. You know, I'm using the thumb and the pick, kind of that traditional rock. Like kind of muted thing. And of course, they're anywhere in the... But that led to all kinds of other ways to play harmonics, like... Kind of a Lenny Bro, Danny Gatton style, which really is probably what I use the most. That where I use my finger and I put my finger on the string where I want the harmonic, and then you pick under the finger like that. That certainly. I, I'm, I'm not very good at the. Um, I. I definitely throw in a, a tap or two every now and then. I have an album called Make Blues, Not War. And um, it's, it was produced by my friend Tom Hambridge. We recorded it in Nashville. It was a, kind of a back to let's have fun rock and roll type of blues record. And we specifically did a song called Crazy Legs. I was like, we need like a 70s rock shuffle Van Halen kind of thing and it's a total fun ripoff <laughs> of those old like rock and swing shuffles and 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 you know another thing i mentioned my dad you know listened to big band music their their father was a big band musician uh jan van halen was a big band musician and they played big band with their dad as kids like they played in the band with him and it's in, it's in Eddie's playing and it's in Alex's drumming. They play shuffles. You know, they're not an 80s hair metal band. They're a 70s rock band that swings, you know. So there's this shuffle and swing feel and this kind of orchestrated thing. All that to me brought me to the blues. It, it, it absolutely brought me to the blues. So I give, I give Eddie all the credit. Uh, the pinch harmonics are still there. The brrr, crazy rhythmic kind of thrown in is there, and, and absolutely the pentatonic. <laughs> is still, it's still in my playing. It's in my songs. You can go and listen to Crazy Legs. You can go and listen to a lot of just maybe more of my traditional blues. I'm still kind of working my way up that, the neck to the, you know, right there. So uh, uh, God bless Eddie Van Halen. Uh, I love playing guitar because of him. And um, I'm, I'm hoping as I get older, I care less and I have more fun again like I was when I was a kid.